All right, everybody, welcome back. And in this step, we're going to be talking about the importance of lead magnets and blogs. So let me take you back uh, just a few steps in this certification. All right, because this, this is going to be a, a short video that I hope will connect some dots for you uh, if you haven't connected them already. And that is to say that your blog is a very important piece of your top of funnel content strategy where you're going to be pulling in people that have no idea who you are up here at the top of the funnel. You're going to be increasing offer awareness. You're going to be growing your retargeting lists and increasing engagement with you and your brand and all these great things. But don't ever forget that the goal is to move people through the funnel. So you've got to make middle of funnel offers to the folks that are coming in at the top of the funnel. And so lead magnets or middle of funnel offers, uh, gated content, whatever you want to call it, are very important to connect to your top of funnel content. And so, you know, this stuff in the middle, the educational resources, the useful resources, the quizzes and surveys, webinars and software downloads all need to be connected back to the stuff that you're creating up here so that you can migrate somebody from sort of top of funnel awareness into middle of funnel, you know, lead generation type activity. And that's why when, you know, connecting another dot here, when we looked at our content planner, earlier in an earlier step you know that we have the writer and the post type and the vehicle and the and the category and all those things but the big thing to understand is that there's going to be a middle of funnel offer here that is going to be incorporated into the blog content so let's take a look at how this actually happens and so we take you know steal this wicked smart email campaign uh, we got 5x the click-through rate. Okay, so this is an article that we ran on digitalmarketer.com. And in order to escalate or, or ascend somebody from just, hey, I just wanted to read your article and stay at the top of the funnel, we show them a lead magnet offer here that says, okay, access your three-part email series templates now to double sales. Copy and paste this three part. So this is a little offer here um, for a middle of funnel uh, piece of content. So in other words, I'm taking somebody that's here on my blog at the top of the funnel and making them an offer. This is a three part email series and it's a template. So this is a useful resource middle of funnel useful resource so i'm s i'm trying to ascend as many people from here to here as possible right here from inside my post so if they're reading along and they say okay this is an article that i was interested in about email marketing okay so i've raised my hand i have said hey i'm interested in email marketing well now i give you a very relevant middle of funnel offer or lead magnet and if i click here you know, I could go down here and watch this video and just exit, and that's fine. A lot of people will do that. But um, what you really are looking to do is, is get some percentage of people to click on this link and come across here and turn into a lead. All right, so they go over to a squeeze page where there's only one action that, that they can take. It's either hit the back button or exit or you know really do what what you know you want them to do which is to convert into a lead and take this middle of funnel offer all right so i really wanted to take this uh short video and just connect a lot of the dots between the the content life cycle graphic that we've talked about uh the blog content planner and then you know show you how this works in a real life content uh, situation. All right. So with that, let's move on to the next step.